It's National Forensic Science Awareness Week, which highlights the contributions of forensic science and its impact on solving crimes. Today, News 8's Eva Zamaris visited the state's forensic lab in Meriden, getting an inside look at the work that's being done and the technological advances being made. We spoke with one man who says it was science that gave him his freedom after spending nearly 20 years behind bars. Sometimes people get it wrong, you know, but science don't get it wrong. James Tillman served 18 and a half years for a crime he didn't commit. They came and got me and said that my picture was picked out of a lineup. In September of 1989, he was convicted on sexual assault and kidnapping charges based almost entirely on eyewitness testimony. My freedom was given, given to me through DNA evidence, through scientific evidence. But years later, advanced DNA testing was possible and with the help of the Connecticut Innocence Project and the State Forensics Lab in Meriden, Tillman was exonerated and released in 2006. On Friday, Tillman shared his story at the lab, marking the start of National Forensic Science Awareness Week. This is where it all happened, Ken. This is where I got a new life. I got a wife. I got a house, I got a car, graduated from college. This is where it all happened right here. During the opening ceremony, Ronell Higgins, commissioner of the Department of Emergency Services and Public Protection, highlighted the work that's being done within the Division of Scientific Services. Improved DNA is just one dramatic example of how we are transforming forensic science. From providing rapid turnaround of DNA and ballistic evidence. First step is extracting DNA. To forensic genetic genealogy, cracking decades old cold cases. We saw this work up close, getting to watch different demonstrations. Liquid nitrogen boils at a temperature of over 320 degrees. Tillman firmly believes their efforts will only continue to change lives, providing answers and closure to those awaiting justice. It's going to help people that are innocent prove their innocence, and it's also going to give families closure that was victimized. This is the new technology now that we're going to need in Connecticut to help law enforcement, help protect the citizens in the state. In Meriden, Eva Zamaris, News 8.